Welcome back to the channel, my friends, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at this week's Sunday Preview. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. Sunday Preview. Heroes of Beta Garmin join Horus Heresy and Legion's Imperialis. Back in March, the Traitor Legions pushed towards Terra, sparking the cataclysmic battle for Beta Garmin. In a new supplement for Warhammer the Horus Heresy, contained within were rules for some of the legendary characters who fought in the conflict, and these awesome miniatures are finally on the way, along with some crucial reinforcements for Legion's Imperialis. So there's a little video right here, but we'll take a look at the full article. All right, so first from Horus Heresy, we have Shadrach Medusan, Master of the Shattered Legions. So pretty cool model right here. He's got the one arm forward with his bolt rifle, a little scope action, and then the one eye closed. So he is uh, definitely focusing in for that key shot. Nice looking model. We can see the Horus Heresy models are starting to get a little more elaborate with like the accessories and like extra bits and stuff on them, which previously had separated them from like the 40K models. But I do like the look of this. When the Dropsite Massacre slaughtered most of the legions and felled his Primarch, Shadrach Medusin gathered the remainder of his comrades and the survivors from the Raven Guard and Salamanders, escaped to fight another day. Since then, he has plagued the Warmaster's forces with his Shattered Legions, and fights with the strength of a Terraborn original. So, very cool. Nice looking model right here. Cool little bit of backstory as well. And most likely, he's going to be coming in resin from Forge World. All right, and then we have Hibu Khan, Seeker of Atonement. So, very cool looking White Scars character right here, holding the double-handed blade. It's got the nice little curve to it, the plume on top, and then also on the sword. Real nice paint job on this as well. Again, much more elaborate than like the typical Horus Heresy models, but suiting for a character of his stature. Of all the loyal Primarchs to stay by the Emperor's side, Jagada Khan was one of the most conflicted about his position. While he considered whether to declare for the Emperor or for the Warmaster, a number of his officers plotted to forcibly side the Legion with Horus. Among them, Haibu Khan, who commanded the Brotherhood of the Dawn Sky. Eventually, the conspirator was humbled and given the chance to atone through combat which he did with redoubled fervor. His giant two-handed power sword, Breath of the Storm, reaped a huge tally of traitor lives at Beta Garmin, even dealing Horus Aximand a grievous wound that sliced his face clean off. So, very cool, and again, some nice backstory as well. All right, and then next we have Tybalt Mar, captain of the 18th Company. As the Shattered Legions began their merciless guerrilla raids on Horus's forces, the Warmaster tasked his favorite agent, Tybalt Mar, with the hunting down their leader, Shadrach Medusan. Tybalt is a master of brutal shock tactics and personally slew many members of the Shattered Legions with his strange but deadly weapon, the Culling Blade. So again, nice looking model right here. We see a lot of that extra detail. And again, these should all be coming in Forge World Resin. I do really like that chest plate on him. Very nice. Nicely sculpted face and some cool accoutrements. All right, and then we have Little Horus Aximon, captain of the 5th Company. Known as Little Horus by his peers amongst the Morneval, Horus Aximon was one of the Warmaster's most devoted captains, and though his fall into treachery wasn't without disquiet, he loyally carried out the Gene Sire's will throughout the Horus Heresy. He is especially known for his ability to survive terrible wounds, and can outduel all but the most skilled of opponents with his powered broadsword, Mourn It All. So, very cool looking shield right here, nice little broadsword, again, very nicely detailed. Some really cool new characters coming out here for the Horus Heresy range. Alright, and then we have the Legion Horus Heresy Command Squads. So we have a couple of different armor pattern right here for the command squads. You can obviously paint them up as you choose, but some nicely detailed models, some cool poses, and a nice little addition to the Horus Heresy. Praetors and Centurions from the Legion of Astartes often surround themselves with command squad of trusted chosen veterans who carry the Legion's colors and defend their leader as the enemy closes in. Two new command squad boxes and squads of five chosen in either Mark VI or Mark III power armor. Each is armed with the power swords and combat shields, while one hoists a large but detailed Legion banner with your choice of Loyalist or Traitor iconography. If you already have the Mark VI or Mark III tactical marine bodies handy and just need the upgrades to turn them into a command squad of your own, the Legion Command upgrade set has all the new pieces contained in the other boxes, including crested helmets, artificer pauldrons, and a variety of other accessories. So, very cool. You have the option to pick up the entire command squad, or you can just buy the upgrade set and attach them to your existing models to create your own command squad. So, very cool little upgrade set right here. Not sure if this is going to end up being in plastic or resin. Now, a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. All right, and then moving on, we have the Legion of Stardust Battle Group. So, a nice big box right here. Unleash the might of Classic Space Marine Combined Arms Force with the Legion of Stardust Battle Group for Legion's Imperialis. 
Bring a diverse range of units together into a flexible and powerful army that's ideal for beginners for expanding their existing collection. This box set contains a huge assortment of miniatures, 4 Kratos heavy tanks, 10 Rhino transports, 4 Leviathan dreadnoughts, 4 Derideo dreadnoughts, 4 Rapier batteries, 4 Tarantulas, 2 Command squads, 8 Tactical Legionary bases, 2 Terminator bases, 2 Assault Marine bases, Deep Breath, and 4 Support Legionary bases, 4 Contemptor dreadnoughts, 4 Outrider bases, 6 Scimitar jet bike bases, 4 Javelins, and 4 Land Speeders. So very nice of Games Workshop to moving away from just how many models are in the set and then now actually calling them bases. So they're not like inflating the numbers of what's actually in this box set. But this is a nice box set, a lot of models in here. And no doubt this is going to be a great jumping off point for people or expansion force for existing players. All right, and then we have the Legion of Stardis Predator Squadron. So I know this is one of the things people have been asking for and here it is. Add armored support to your Space Marine army with a squad of iconic Predator tanks. Picking either a Predator Cannon or Twin Link Last Cannons with a choice of Heavy Bolter or Last Cannon Sponsons, you get 6 tanks in a box along with a sheet of 1,118 decals. So they got away from like the models and moved towards like the bases, but obviously still going all in on the decals. There's no reason to list 1,118 decals. Just say it comes with two transfer sheets or whatever it is. But very cool. I know people are going to be excited for this as the Predators were previously not offered on their own. All right, and then we have the Sola Auxilla Battle Group. Space Marines not your style? Tackle the Age of Darkness via the best human troops in the galaxy with the Sola Auxilia Battle Group. A massive collection of miniatures that will have you showcasing those Legion of Stardis upstarts who's boss in no time. The Battle Group contains, in no particular order, two Baneblade Super Heavy Tanks that can alternatively be built as Hellhammers, 12 Rapier Batteries, 4 Cyclops Remote Bombs, 12 Tarantula Sentry Guns, 2 Legate Command Bases, 8 Auxiliary Bases, 4 Velatari Bases, 4 Auxilia Bases with Flamers, 4 Cronite Ogren Bases, 4 Atheon Heavy Sentinels, 6 Dracosian Transport Tanks, and 8 Lemon Rust Strike Tanks outfitted with Battle Cannons or Vanquisher Cannons. So again, really nice box set right here, a load of models in it. Definitely a good jumping off point or expansion force for those Sola Auxilia players. Very cool. All right, and then we have the Sola Auxilia Lehman Russ Strike Squadron. So again, being offered on their own now. Need even more Lehman Russ to roll over the enemies of mankind? Add another eight strike tanks to your roster with the choice between a versatile battle cannon and the anti-tank vanquisher cannon. You also get to pick between the heavy bolter or last cannons on the hull. All right, and then we have some repacked miniatures as well. There's also a whole raft of Adeptus Titanicus Aeronautica Imperialis models returning to the range for use in Legion Imperialis. You'll find Venerable Knights, Titans, and a variety of fighter jets up for pre-order next week, as well as two sets of modular Imperial City terrain. So I think the main benefit of this is they will come with the actual bases for Legion Imperialis, like the new texture style bases. Not sure if all these models were currently being offered, or if they're just returning for their rebox with the new bases, but very cool. We have the Serastis Knights and Acheron Castigator, Warmaster, Iconoclast, Heavy Battle Titan, Acastus Knight, Pyrethion, Thunderbolt Fighter Squadron, Fire Raptor Gunship Squadron, Xiphon Interceptor Squadron, Storm Eagle Squadron, Avenger Strike Fighters, Civitus Imperialis, and Civitus Imperialis Spires. So very cool. And then from Black Library, we have the Sanctum Imperialis Palatine Map. And these are limited and tend to sell pretty well. So if you are after these maps for your collection, they are cool and definitely nice quality and they do sell out quickly and there's only like a one-time offering. All right, and then we have Echoes of Eternity, Book 7. Angron has achieved immortality through annihilation. Now he leads the armies of the damned in a wrathful tide. Destroying all before them as the warp begins is poisonous corruption of Terra. With his brothers fallen or waylaid, Sanguinius waits on the final battlements. Hoping to rally a desperate band of defenders and refugees for one last stand. So this is coming to paperback. So very big week for those people out there for the Horus Heresy or Legions Imperialis. Tons of new stuff coming, some big boxes. A bunch of stuff returning to the range in reboxes. Very cool. So let me know what you guys are most excited about, what you're going to be picking up. And as always, stay tuned for the price list coming out tomorrow. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the channel. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. Make sure to tell them that Warhammer Man sent you. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.